Hi, I'm Kathy Berry, Registered Dietitian with The Fountain of Health, and we have an awesome program for you today on Time to Be Well. I also have my really good friend and co-worker Janine with me today and her beautiful family. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much for having us. Today I have Carlton here with us and Madison and Alyssa. And I tell you, we just have crazy, crazy evenings at dinner time. It's so hard. We're always running from basketball practice to athletics and rugby practice and we have to carry drag a baby with us everywhere we go. I hear you and I think that there's a whole bunch of other folks that are right in the same situation that you are and that is exactly what this program is all about. So let me tell you about all these fabulous things that we're going to cook this week. First, we have a beautiful cranberry mustard Dijon pork roast that's going to simmer all day and come out fantastic. Next, we have a vegetable beef stew that is loaded with vegetables, super healthy, and we're going to serve that with some wheat rolls. Third, we have a beautiful black bean chili that's vegetarian, but really hearty and delicious and seasoned up with cumin. And finally, we have a beautiful chicken taco dish that's got lots of vegetables that is fantastic. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to show you how life gets simple and easy in the kitchen. Welcome back to Crock-Pot Mania on today's Time to Be Well. We did a little prep work and we've got four awesome dishes to speed you through a crazy work week. First off, we have a beautiful little pork loin that we trimmed up so it's nice and lean. We're just going to put that right in the Ziploc bag. All of these bags are going to go straight to the freezer and then you can just pull them out and pop them in your crock pot before you head out the door to a busy work day. Next, we've got a little bit of salt and pepper, and we have a little cinnamon in there. And we also have some cranberries, which is going to be really, really nice with this pork. Really nice complement to that. And we're going to add a splash of Dijon mustard. And Dijon mustard is one of those great things to cook with. You can, you can put it in foods when you grill it. You can make salad dressing with it. It's just a fantastic condiment. So, there you go. All you do is you just squeeze the air out of this bag, close it up, and Monday just got easier. So there's Monday. Now, let's move on to Tuesday. For Tuesday, we have a beautiful vegetable beef stew. So all we have here is some nice lean, we've got about two pounds of uh, nice lean stew beef that we're just going to put in this Ziploc bag, simple. There we go. And to that, we're going to add, we've got some interesting things here to kind of tenderize this beef. First of all, we've got our spices, just simple salt and pepper. That's pretty simple. Then we have a combination of apple juice and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So this is going to kind of help tenderize the beef a little bit and then it's also going to give it a little seasonings. Along with that, we have a little bit of organic um, beef base. So that all goes in. We have our vegetables. Now, I really love these vegetables because first of all, when sometimes we think about beef stew, we think that it's going to be really starchy and really heavy, and this is not. We have carrots. Carrots are super high in vitamin A. Really like those. We've got onions. Onions are one of those vegetables that the smaller they are, the more antioxidants they have, and they're really good for your heart and your blood pressure. We also have green beans. And green beans are just a good green vegetable, good source of potassium. And then we have some really nice corn. And I chose a corn that had a little bit of a sun-dried tomato, just to kind of give it a little flavor, a little depth, and a little bit of sweetness. So there's all of our um, ingredients for our beef stew. Now, I will tell you that I kind of added an ingredient because I really like beef stew that's rich, and I like it when the, the beef is actually tender, so nice and fork tender. So one of my favorite things to cook with that adds a lot of nutrition and it adds just a really nice flavor is a can of V8 juice. Now when you cook this, you're going to add some beef broth as well. And that's on the recipe 
on the online when you look at it um, online. But uh, this is what's going to go in your freezer. So once again, just squeeze out the air. And there is your vegetable beef stew. And Tuesday is in the bag. So here we go. Now we're moving on to Wednesday. And for Wednesday, we chose a black bean soup. So here we have our bag. Now this is really and this is really simple. And this is something that's really, really easy, and most everybody loves black bean soup. So all we do here, we've got our nice freezer bag. We've got about three cans of drained black beans. So you want to get that kind of syrupy liquid off of those black beans. And then to that, this is the secret ingredient. Black beans are really nutritious for you. They have lots of fiber. They're rich in protein. They have a really low glycemic index, so they fill you up and they stick with you for a long time. Black beans are just delicious, and they're also super, super healthy. We're going to add some pumpkin, and this pumpkin is going to give it a nice, rich, deep flavor. And pumpkin is another superfood that we kind of miss sometimes. We just think of it as pie, and we, you know, forget about how really wonderful it is for us. But this is going to give this dish a lot of depth and really make it nice and rich. So we're going to add our pumpkin. And then our seasonings for this dish is we've got a little cumin, we've got a little chili powder, and we've got salt and pepper. We're going to throw that in there. We've got onions and garlic. And remember, onions and garlic are those ingredients that are really, really good for your heart. So we're going to just toss those in the bag, just like that. And then we have our secret weapon uh, lycopene antioxidant in the crushed tomatoes. So we're just going to take a can of crushed tomatoes, dump them right in the bag, and in go some nice peppers. So we just chopped up some uh, variety of peppers and we had yellow and orange but you could use green you could use red peppers are super high in vitamin C they're really really good for you so we're gonna toss those in the bag there you go now once again this we're gonna seal get the, get all the air out of here and uh, there's Wednesday Wednesday is simple once again once you put this in the crock pot you're gonna add need to add a little bit of broth but again that's on the recipe on the link so there you go there's Wednesday got that taken care of and now our last meal is for Thursday and we're gonna make this wonderful little uh, chicken taco dish and I really like this my kids make a version of this they're both at college and this is just a super super easy easy dish that you can use lots of applications for. So we're going to take these chicken breasts, pop them in the bag. If you wanted to cut them up, you surely could, but you don't have to because once they're finished, you can shred them very easily. So in goes the chicken. Then to that, we are going to add some uh, lime juice. We've got our nice lime juice right here. That's going to tenderize the chicken and it's going to give it a little citrus. And then we have our vegetables. We've got black beans. Again, we talked about how good black beans are for you. They've got lots of fiber, lots of protein. We've got our peppers, which are really high in vitamin C, great for fighting disease and colds and flus. We've got some nice corn. Again, we use the same corn that we used with the beef. So it, you know, we used a bag of corn and we used it in two dishes. So that's a really good money saving little trick. And we've got some onions. So all of those vegetables are gonna go right in the bag with the help of a spoon. And I love these kind of meals because, you know, sometimes when you come home after a busy day at work, you're just tired. And you're, you're you know, as, as my bonus daughter, Rachel, would say, I've used up all my nice. So this kind of just makes life simpler and easier. And that's, you know, everybody's life gets kind of crazy. Everybody's life gets a little stressful. So this is just something to really help you with a busy life. So to this chicken and all these vegetables, here goes our seasonings. We have just your basic cumin. We've got chili powder. We've got salt and pepper. And then we've also had some garlic with those onions. And then we're also going to throw in some cilantro. Now, if you didn't want to cook the cilantro with this, you could save it for a garnish, but I personally think it's kind of good when you cook it in things and then add it on top. So we're going to put a little uh, 
cilantro in there. Once again, close the bag, and there's Thursday. So that's as easy as it gets, my friends. We made life really simple. So I have a secret. Behind me, we have a plethora of crock pots with all of these wonderful dishes that have been simmering and cooking with some fairy dust. So when we get back, we're gonna plate those up and we're gonna show you just how fantastic they are. Welcome back to Time to Be Well's Crock-Pot Mania. Speeding you through a busy work week with little effort and great, healthy, delicious meals. So to start you off, we have Monday. We have our beautiful uh, pork loin that we've roasted off with uh, some cranberries and some Dijon mustard and some onions. And I wish we had smell vision because it smells fantastic. This would be perfect for a family of four. Oh, and by the way, all of this food was purchased for less than $70. Less than $70 for a family of four for a whole week. That's huge. So look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? So that's Monday night's dinner. I would serve that up with uh, some, um, maybe some brown rice and some green vegetable. It'd be a great dinner. So Tuesday. For Tuesday, we have our beautiful beef stew. Love this. We've got a nice wheat roll to have with it. So we've got some really nice beef stew here with lots of vegetables. It's almost kind of soupy. I really like this. This would be really nice on a cold, cold day, coming in the house, smelling this after a busy day at work. So there we go, really nice beef stew. Then we have black bean chili. Love black bean chili, super nutritious. This has got a lot of flavor. We've got tomatoes in here and peppers and onions and that is really good looking to me. So nice black bean chili, really, really good. And because it is so, uh, you know, healthy and delicious, I might add a little, little bit of uh, Greek yogurt on top just to garnish it. And then maybe some cheese. Maybe you might want to have a few tortilla chips with that. So that's a really nice dinner. So then Thursday, this is what I would do with this for me because I'm always trying to watch my calories. I would just take this chicken taco dish that has this corn and the black beans and the 
tomatoes and all this good flavor. And I would just put that right on top of a bed of greens. And I personally really like it when you have like cold salad with hot, like warm chicken or salmon on it. I love those different temperatures of food. I think that's really, really delicious. But if your kids didn't want it on a bed of greens, they could have it on some rice or they could have it in a soft tortilla and that would be really awesome too. But for me, this is what I would do. And I would put a little cheese on that. And I would also maybe add a little uh, Greek yogurt just to top it. There we go, just like that. So there we go, Monday through Thursday, easy peasy. We live in Kansas City, so Friday we go out for barbecue. Thank you for joining us today on Time to Be Well. Thank you for taking care of yourself through better nutrition and better health. These recipes and many more can be found on kcmo.gov. Search for Time to Be Well. I'm Kathy Berry with the Fountain of Health.